everybody, Angela Johnson here. Welcome to this episode of Solopreneur Sunday. And this week, I'm sure that I'm going to push some buttons. <laughs> and that's really great because guess what? When I learned about this accountability principle a few years ago, my buttons were definitely pushed. I was definitely triggered. And you know what? Right on the other side of that was a whole lot of freedom. So let me take you back in time with me to about 2011. I was actually attending a seven day training with Jack Canfield and we were talking about accountability. And accountability has always been something really important to me because I learned at a very early age how to be a victim, that everything was against me, that life was hard and that my circumstances determined my destiny. And as I started, you know, studying personal development and things that way, then accountability became a really big thing because that is when I realized I was the creator of my life. I was the creator of my results. I was the creator of my destiny. And so in this training, we were talking about accountability, but from a different level, a really deep perspective. And we use the perfect example of what do you do when you're late to something? And typically, oh, traffic was late, or you know, I was stuck in traffic, or my kid was puking in the car, or you know, whatever, whatever it is, I didn't wake up to my alarm. There's always an excuse. There's always a reason. And this is <laughs> coming from a habitually late person um, for most of my life. And in this training, we talked about how actually the real reason why you're late is because you did not care enough to be on time. And at first, when I heard that, I was really pissed. I was like, no, I care. I'm, I showed up. I'm just sorry I'm late. You know, all these things happen. And then I realized that was the tape. That was the story over and over and over again. There was always a reason. In other words, there was always an excuse. And so just using this very simple example of being late, we were never allowed in this training to say, you know, the reasons or the excuses. The only thing that we could say was the truth. And the truth was, I'm late because I did not care enough to be on time. And here's what's really cool. And here's where the freedom started for me. And Jack would say from stage, you know, if someone came in late, we would say that. And he said, thank you for being here. And thank you for being honest. And he would move right into the training. There was no shaming. No, you know, processing. It was just freedom. It was just seeing what was really there, seeing the truth, and then really actually taking that into all aspects of my life. So it wasn't just about being late. It was, well, why didn't I reach this income goal? Why didn't this certain thing happen with my health? Why didn't, you know, whatever it was. I, I didn't lose five pounds this month or whatever. It was, I didn't care enough to do that. But truth, there was something else that took priority over that. And so rather than using the energy to come up with all these excuses, all the reasons and trying to justify why things the way they are, what if you actually just took it all the result, results in your life and if it wasn't the result that you were intending or it wasn't the result that you were aiming for, what if you actually just said, you know, I don't care enough about that. That's why it didn't happen. Because there is truth in that. There is freedom in that. And as I started playing with that energy, that's when I realized that all these things I was chasing in my business, I actually didn't care enough about them to have it, to receive it, to work hard for it. I remember a mentor telling me, Angela, you just don't want it bad enough. And at first I was like, wait, no, yes, I do. I, I do want it bad enough. You don't know me. And I went into all the reasons, all the excuses. And then I realized, you know what? She was right. I didn't want it bad enough. So the truth was, I didn't care enough to create whatever the result was. And rather than judging the crap out of myself, just owning that, that something else was more important. And so there is a level of honesty that happens. And so when you can look at your bank account, when you can look at your business, your business model, everything that you're working hard for in your business and in your life, and you actually just take this approach, then I wonder what kind of freedom could be created in your life, in your bank account, in your business, all the things that you say are important to you. So just something to play with, you know, and I get that when I talk about this with my clients, when I teach about this, it always triggers people because I remember sitting in that room learning about this, I don't care enough accountability, and I was really pissed off at first. And then on the other side of that, it was freedom. So I wonder what you can create with that kind of clarity. See you guys next week.